Hi! Well, this is a short clip on the use of red filters underwater. If you've ever taken photos or videos in tropical water, you'll notice that most of your shots take on a hue of green and blue, like you're seeing here. This is because water quickly absorbs sunlight's red spectrum. The deeper you swim down, the more blue your shots will get. To counteract this, you should probably put on a red filter, which I'll do here with this yellow-orange sponge. Oh, I think that looks better, but you'll notice the sand color is still a little off, so I fixed it by using a software program and adjusting the white balance. Now here we are using a red filter again on another reef, and you'll notice it looks pretty darn good. The red filter's taken out almost all the greens and blues and adjusted it, put in red. See? That's what it looks like normally. Now, I went back in with the red filter and I adjusted the white balance and I put a little more red in and uh, the reef looks better. Now here's another shot without the red filter. As you can see, you know, it looks okay. Um, looks like most shots underwater, but wow, wow, that looks so much better with a red filter. Here we are with a red filter swimming along and that yellow damselfish really just pops. It looks great. And uh, as we swim along, you'll notice as you get close to the rock wall, using a red filter with light turns everything red. And that is the only disadvantage. If you're going to be filming up close, it's always best maybe not to use a red filter with light. But here, looks great with these butterfly fish. Now here's another shot, and this is going to be a comparison shot. So there we are with the red filter, and we're back again without the red filter. Now, if you don't use a red filter, you can always adjust using color hues, and that's what I've done here. But it still doesn't look as good as using the red filter. Now here's a comparison shot. Using the red filter, well, on the left is without the red filter, but on the left now I've adjusted the white hue, which you do in your software program. I've also taken a little more of the greens out and put a little more red in, and it's making that postlepora coral just pop. Now here we are, swimming along, coming out of a cave, and woo, we just put on the red filter. Looks great. And uh, so when you're swimming and diving, snorkeling, I suggest using a red filter. It really makes all the difference. This is Scott Putnam. Thank you very much.